Hello there, this is Retro Spirits Gaiden. It took me by surprise. And this is Ray's Arcade Chronology on the Nintendo Switch. Also available on PS4. This is a collection, a compilation, if you will, of three vertically scrolling shooting maps by Ray. And Ray loves his vertically scrolling shooting maps. Warning some of the games in this collection feature flashing screens and lasers. Taito! And M2. Taito! And M2, rather. Um, pointy spaceships. Yeah. We love pointy spaceships with the incongruous designs. Does that even make sense, that word? Yes, it does. Uh, we've got Ray Force, we've got Ray Storm, and Ray Crisis. Now, Ray Force is a 2D game running on Tarantos, F3 board. Ray Storm runs on PlayStation hardware, and Ray Crisis runs on PlayStation hardware. But the arcade version of the PlayStation, which had more memory in it. Um, Ray Force is also known as Layer Section and galactic attack depending on which region you live in and as you can see here uh, it's a vertically oriented game and we've got some options yes so it's tiny on the switch screen if you play undocked um we've got a rapid fire from the arcade pcb there which we need to turn on because uh, the rapid fire is a bit weird otherwise well not it's not what i'm used to let's put it that way and then there are screen rotation options. You can rotate it left or right, which is handy. It's a beautiful game. It's got lots of zoomy, zoomy in and out 3D type sprite work. And uh, that's all cool. And it sounds awesome as well. It's got a brilliant soundtrack. There we go. There's the rotation. So here you have a TV or monitor you can rotate around. You can have a full screen version of the game. I don't know whether you can play it rotated, undocked. I'm assuming it gets turned off because the controls would be weird. Um, anyway, you've got alternate soundtracks for this game. You can have the layer section soundtrack, which is the Saturn version. Uh, we can have the arcade, original arcade. Both are good. Both are cool. Um, this game's always been awesome. And always will be awesome. It's pretty nicely balanced in terms of difficulty. Uh, it doesn't feel unfair. Your ship is rather large. It's quite a big sprite. Um, but the game doesn't really fill the screen up full of bullets until sort of level four or five on. So you can make decent headway if you've got some sort of shooting up skills. Um, I have. I have some skills, I'm not going to say I'm uh, awesome at shoot ups and I can comfortably get to level 4 if, with a little bit of practice, but I'm, no, I'm never going to play, complete this game on one credit, let's put it that way, because I just don't have, just don't have the patience. It gets to, to be a bit of a memory test later on, and uh, the final boss does do some horrific attack patterns. So I've completed the game, but it's just through continues. I just wanted to see see where the game went. This is a bit of like a visual storytelling thing where the game starts you in space and you work your way down to a planet's surface, eventually under the planet's surface. Oh, that's beautiful. Lovely tunes. Yeah, this is a cracking game. And um, I haven't really noticed any differences between this and the Saturn version, which I've played quite a bit. I don't notice any lag in any of these games. They play as I remember them. I'm sure there are lag uh, issues for some people. Like I'm, I'm sure there's like three, three millisecond lags or something. I don't know. Um, but I don't tend to feel it because I'm an old man and um, I'm just happy to be alive. Yeah. So Rayforce is a stone cold classic, and. Um, this compilation can be had as a standalone or as part of a collector's set. And I bought the collector's set, which was £97 from Amazon Japan. And uh, I had it imported for my birthday. I treated myself. And it's not worth £97. You get some uh, 
printed materials in the box. You get like arcade flyers, which, uh, you know, they're fine. I don't know what you really do with them. Uh, you get a soft cover book, like a bookazine thing, which is uh, interesting. It's got a, it's got interviews with lots of Taito staff and um, it's translated into English and so it's got some interesting factoids in there if you're interested in arcade hardware and shenanigans. Uh, that's, that's cool. I always like the uh, Space Armada in uh, Raystorm. It's groovy. Although, they like flying their spaceships close together, don't they? Uh, so this is the HD version. As you can see, the polygons are improved in resolution in terms of like anti-aliasing and things. But all the PlayStation graphical issues are still apparent. There is warpy textures and flickery polygons. So they've just done kind of a cheap HD, which is... Yeah. So what else do you get in the box? Well, you get a in the collector's box you get a DVD, well rather a Blu-ray Blu of a concert where some people play the music for these games, and I'm sure it's groovy, but I'll never watch it. I think it's Region One uh, DVD, Blu-ray, and um, I don't have one of those players. Then you get a CD. There's a CD of that same concert, which. I might rip because the music on this game is immense. Um, I do love all of the Ray games. I think their quality, um, the 3D games, like I say on here, they're called HD, but they're really not that HD. The like I said, the polygons are HD. Uh, they play really well. They've got nice music. The designs of the spaceships are cool. Um, there's loads of whiz bang background effects. Uh, because these are the arcade versions, they're slightly harder than the versions I'm used to. So the home versions on the PlayStation and Saturn don't tend to fire as many bullets at you as these, this version does. I'm sure that's all tweakable in the menus. And yeah, as you can see, 3D graphics. And it's not bad. It's not brilliant, but it's not bad. I'm sure if they did a proper HD remake of this, it would look smashing, but they haven't bothered. Um, so you can buy a standalone uh, of this game as well, and I think it's about 40 ish quid uh, if you buy from an importer, and I've seen it at import shops. Uh, but you can also get that imported from Amazon Japan. But, uh, it won't cost you, it'll cost you a little bit less than that, probably. Um, so other things I've noticed with this, so I've not noticed lag, I'm sure there is lag, I've not noticed it. There, There is uh, frame rate issues when fighting some bosses in some certain situations in the game, more hectic areas, but that also happens in the original versions of the game, so I think it's not really a Switch problem, I think it might be emulation, and I think I'd need to test the PS4 version to find out whether that's consistent across all versions of the game. The original uh, PlayStation game and Saturn game also had slowed down on this boss, and this boss does get a bit framey um, at points on the Switch. So, yeah, there are some lag, or rather frame rate issues um, that I've noticed, but nothing that's not in the original games, so I don't know if that's just M2 being of all anal about their emulation. But there we go. So, do I recommend uh, this collection? I do. I recommend this collection. It's three really class shooter maps. Um, do I recommend you buy it? Not so sure, because it's expensive. So, only you will know whether you want to spend 40 quid on three kind of old games. Uh, I would, because I'm a sucker. Uh, as, as I've said, I've spent 97 quid on three games and some paper. Because uh, the box comes with paper in it, which has got printed imagery of spaceships on it. And I'm all over that stuff because I'm a nerd. But I can't recommend... I can't really re recommend the uh, collector's edition. I've seen it on import sites and 
Some import sites want 150 quid for it, which is ridiculous. Um, yeah, so I recommend the games themselves. Um, only you will know whether you want to spend the money. One thing I will say is I do like the designs of all the spaceships and stuff in these games. Um, it's groovy. Ray Crisis is very different in the home as... Well, I say very different. It's got exactly the same graphical content, it's just set up differently. In the home, you can choose choose your route in the arcade it chooses it for you and it's some sort of crazy story going on here which justifies branching routes a bit like outrun but as you can see it's got lots of um, vector style graphics glowing lines so immediately my uh, 1980s brain is being blown by that kind of stuff and uh, we've got more detailed backgrounds than a race storm and uh, a bit more action it's a bit more this game's a bit more in your face in the difficulty stakes and always has been um, whereas race storm is quite doable i mean you can get pretty good at that game fairly quickly this game takes a bit more effort uh, which is fine if you've got time. If you've got the time, that's all right, isn't it? Playing the same thing over and over again. This uh, cloudscape is um, not the best, is it? But some of the other levels do feature some whiz-bang graphics. There's a bit of a weird glitch in the video there. That wasn't in the game, that was in the video. Strange. Uh, I don't, well, at least I don't remember that being in the game. Like, I'm... I'm Talking over the video here, uh, that I've recorded of gameplay, uh, I'm like doing two things at once. I can't, I can't do that. I can't multitask. No, no, sir. Um, yeah. So you've got sort of morphing stages. So we've gone from like a sort of uh, mechanical nightmare dystopia cityscape to the clouds, and now we're. Here flying over a mountainous desert. Wonderful. Yeah, so that's Ray's Arcade Chronology. It's pretty cool, man. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I already own these games in other formats. That's the other... S I'm just a complete sucker, aren't I? Uh, but what's my birthday? This is for my birthday, people. So, forgive me, please, uh, for spending 97 quid on a box. Uh, a cardboard box full of paper uh, and three games already own on other formats. Yeah, I might have a problem. I might have issues. That's Ray's Arcade Chronology. It's pretty damn cool. There are a couple of tech issues um, if you're not used to the original games. All the things, all the slowdown is in the original game. Like I said, I don't know if the PS4 um, doesn't slow down. Uh, it could be a Switch issue. It might just be They've emulated it accurately, I don't know. Uh, I have, not having the PS4 version to test. Uh, I can't double dip, that'd be crazy. I'm pressing pause here randomly, that's handy. Uh, yeah, these bosses are a bit more impressive in here. They're sort of giant and got sort of things that spiky bits that stick out of them and look kind of cool. Like I said, I do like all the designs of stuff in these games. Anyway, oh, I'm done now. This is cool. Uh, just expensive. So you make your mind up. Alright then. I'm going to go and uh, reevaluate my life. I'll see you later. See you around.